Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, I want to talk to you about Zillica because Zillica has been uh, diving deep into the gaming ecosystem. And I just want to break it down to say system. Well, system, literally, gaming system. <laughs> so I'm going to break this down with you. Zillica's looking to bring a gaming web free console. Uh, what's my thoughts on this? If it sounds interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're new watching. Uh, this isn't financial advice, just, you know, do your further research before you invest your money kind of thing if you decide to invest in Zillica. Because uh, this is enough to push Zillica to its highest limits, you best believe. I like the Z. If you look closely, you can see, like, you know, like Z for Zillica. Now, this could open a whole stream of doors for the Zillica chain. And I, I, I seriously think it's a good thing. I'm just going to break down some of the information that I found on Zillica with this whole thing. So Zillica to launch web free games console in early 2023. Uh, the blockchain network has unveiled a prototype of its games console, which aims to hide the complexity of web free from end from the end user. And if we scroll down here, there's more that you can do with it. So there's a layer one blockchain Zillica is preparing to dive into the world of web free gaming. And this makes me think maybe the ugh, alert. Gaming coins right now are so damn cheap, yeah? So we have an opportunity to be buying game, uh, gaming crypto is really cheap right now. Should they adopt the Zillica chain? Should they migrate over? You know why? Because everybody has an Xbox. Everybody has a PlayStation or Nintendo Switch. It's so easy to play these games. You know, you log in, you've got your Xbox like layout or your PlayStation store. You go in the store, you download digital uh, games, you have fun, you play it on your hand control. It's so easy. And you know, like people do gaming as well on like PC gaming, you know, laptop game, uh, gaming and stuff. But it's not the same as having a home console, sitting down with your family or on your own, just playing it like that in your room. And it's very easy to play these games. So what could happen is, and this is my personal uh, opinion, you could see a huge ton of games in the uh, crypto space migrate over to the uh, Zillica blockchain, which will make it easier for the, uh, their games to be played on the on the Zillica, you know, e uh, gaming web free box, whatever you want to call it, the Zilla box. <laughs> whatever you call your console, the Zillica box, what Zillica gaming, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it makes it very easy for all these web free games to just come on and people play. And I think it's going to be huge. I think it has huge potential. I can see it. Because for me, like I played games on my gaming laptop and my PC upstairs. But it's so much easier when I just go and sit down on my lap on my Xbox and just download it there. Boom, play. Just sitting there chilling. So, you know, I'm used to that. Most people are used to that. Let's carry on reading. The prototype version of the console will... Um, was unveiled today showcasing a sleek design with an array of ports including HDMI, the Ethernet, yep, and the USB-C and USB 3.0 connections. Got a bit of a itchy nose. Full specifications of the console uh, remain under wraps. Though Zillica touts its user friendliness with web free capabilities including a crypto wallet, a mining integrated uh, and mining integrated to uh, hide the complexity complexity of Web3 from, from the end user. I keep getting it mixed up. So you can mine on this. So essentially, you've got yourself a gaming console box that now lets you mine because of the power that it has. So you can earn Zillica. Is that right? Because Zillica isn't proof of work, is it? It's a proof of stake. So that's interesting. It's offering a new way for people to mine and earn. Maybe they take some of the Zillica supply, pull it in for this whole you know section here where people can mine. Can you mine other games that may come onto this? I don't know if Zillica's watching if you are. If you allow people to mine the games that you have, like the gaming coins that you have on your system, oh, it's going to absolutely change the way people play in the future. Zillica, uh, Zillica's engineers spent six months in the research phase, designing and testing the console with the uh, intent of seamlessly integrate, integrating Seamless, of seamlessly integrating web free aspects, uh, crypto wallet, you know, mining software, blockchain tech into the recognizable gaming experience. Now, this is going to, I'll tell you what, whether this comes to light or not, it's going to cer uh, certainly as hell open up PlayStation, Sony, and Xbox, Microsoft's eyes straight up. Because this is showing that it is possible to drop a console and be able to do something where people can actually play and earn from their homes, you know, in their bedrooms or whatnot. Zillica took the approach of hiding... The yeah, you keep saying that. We know about hiding the complexity. <laughs> players will be... A I'm, just, I'm just here now. You know, if you're watching, if you look at the screen, this is where I am. Uh, let me highlight it. So, players <laughs> will be able to earn Zillica tokens through the completion of 
game uh, of in game. They call it skill to earn. So a bit like when you play and you get achievements. You get the achievements unlocked. You just unlock a little something, something. It says tasks and quests. Cool. In this case, the tokens can be uh, uh, regarded as similar to coins or rewards in traditional games, but with the additional functions, blockchain technology. I like it. Seriously like it. And then it makes me wonder. And I brought up a few other things like in relation to, you know, web free gaming and stuff, because I can see many games, uh, you know, starting to, it, it might just become a thing like, you know, if you're not on the Zillica chain, what, what are you doing? You're, you're messing about because, you know, Zillica is the way forward. They've got a gaming console. It's so easy to just play games on there everywhere around the world on web free. Like what are you doing kind of thing. Uh, it makes me wonder, will projects like Decentraland, just got to say, you know, because it's only a matter of time to Zillica figures out how to incorporate VR capabilities where you can just boom, plug it in. You know, got you got all the USB C's and stuff plugged. So plug in your VR, your, whatever it is, your Quest or whatnot, and then you're playing on the go. Uh, uh, things like Sandbox. Will these, you know, two have in the future a way to migrate over to something like this, where you've got your Zillica box, you turn it on. You know, you've got your now your main little uh, front system, your home screen system, and then you just go onto like, because nowadays you can just stream online, and you just stream, tap the button, play online. Don't even need to download the game; you just stream online. You just play sir, uh, play services. You just play your streaming online, uh, and they could do a thing like this where you just log in to your decentralized and your MetaMask just online. Don't need to do no downloads or anything. Just bang, click it, play on the go. And if they do download, fine. Maybe they can figure out something. But it could be massive if these two types of metaverse games come over to this Xbox console. Uh, sorry, Zillica. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I see this competing with the, the Xboxes and the Playstations when it comes over to this Zillica console. Uh, nifty news. Zillica teases web free gaming console. Funko teams up with uh, Warner Bros. and more. Uh, yeah, that's just someone I was talking about. That's just another a post about this. What else is there? Uh, blockchain company Zillica is announcing the launch of its web free based console yet, which we said. Yeah, 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 fine. Uh, I'm just saying if there's anything else. Zillica hopes to increase onboarding of their platform with the inclusion of a web free wallet. You said that. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm just reading a few things over and over. Upon announcing our first game at GamesCon, we had a great response from the gaming community. And we've, uh, we're have we excited to say that it was just the beginning, uh, says Valentin, uh, head of gaming technology at Zillica. Zillica's hardware console and gaming hub will allow non-crypto natives to earn money while playing fun games without, without the complexity of uh, managing and, and the whole crypto. Because, you know, it's quite hard... So, you know, I got my daughter, you know, she's, I told her about like the sandbox and stuff. She loves gaming. And I, you know, she, you know, she wanted to set up the wallet and stuff and she's quite clever. She, you know, she'd done it. But for some people that can be quite hard. You've got to set up the wallet. You've got to have the MetaMask, you write down the passphrase and know how to use the wallet, know how to send and receive transactions, how to log into like the sandbox back end and then put your, you know, your, all that stuff. So if in a sense, a, a, you know, a gaming hub, box like this can just make it super simple for all these things and every time you log in all your stuff's just logged in on everything so uh, we will launch the console and gaming hub early next year with two zillica games what are the games followed by game uh, followed by more games from a variety of creators with the backing of zillica's large crypto community this alone could absolutely pump zillica's price what's zillica sitting on right now two pence three pence 0.29 three pence um, I know this news has been out over the last day or so, but you know, just uh, we're just going to see what happens as time goes on. Four hundred and forty million market cap. Uh, could we see? You know, I, I still believe Zillica is going to go to a pound, two pound. You know, it's got twenty one billion in supply. Back then, I was comparing against XRP's supply, not what they can do. I know XRP is all about remittance. We're talking about supply because XRP, you know, hundred billion. It's got about twenty billion. You know, five times less uh, less the supply. This makes me think that it can go five times the price of what XRP did in the future. So I was talking about 10, you know, 12, 13 pounds. Should it really go there? Should 100 billion go there? And I tell you what, with gaming growing in the Zillica ecosystem, you best believe it has more than enough uh, chance now to seriously grow in market cap because you will start bringing gamers, the whole gaming ecosystem into the Zillica Foundation and blockchain, you know, sharding with gaming. And yeah, I can see it growing. 
So I just wanted to put that to you right now at the time I'm calling this video. It's sitting at 0.29. Let's see what happens in a year's time. Where Zillica will be sitting in one year's time from now. Uh, we're talking uh, we're in September. So, you know, all close to the end of September. We'll see what happens next year, September. I'll bring another video on Zillica, see where we are. And then we can also see where this gaming goes as well. Uh, they don't say which games they are. Two games uh, with the back end of Zillica's large crypto community, the easy and easy to use infrastructure we have no doubt that we can become the stream equivalent of web free games oh sorry the steam equivalent so they're looking to do it like steam for those who don't know what steam is and this is what i was saying about the gala games and this seems like this is the way they want to go you know so i'm right they could very well be something like this where they bring in the the sandboxes the decentralands Everything just in one place, loads of little gaming things and stuff where you can download and play loads of different types of, you know, web free gaming. They're looking to do something like this. And if they pull it off, it's going to absolutely explode. And you're going to see some serious buy power come into Zillica. What was that Steam game there? That looked interesting, you know, because I like oh, Monkey Island. <laughs> Don't mean to shout. I used to play this back in the day when I was a kid. Well, you've got a new version now. Monkey, I'm going to check this out. I used to love Monkey Island back in the old days. Anyway, so yeah, that was a bit of Zillica. I'm gonna leave it here. Just thought I'd drop this news on you. Looks cool. What do you think? Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this whole Zillica Web3 gaming console. Do you think it's a good thing? Just thought I'd drop you a little update on that. And yeah, if you liked it, please give me a subscribe. Give me, uh, thank you for watching. I was gonna say, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you wanna become a patron, I've got seven tiers. Take your pick. Recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier. Let me open it up if it opens. This one here unlocks all my posts. You can see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, when I'm staking, all that stuff. Uh, so, you know, check it out. I've got a CEO tier as well, which is the next tier above. You get access to my VIP Telegram group. I'm sitting there like this, just like, <laughs> yeah, exp not Xbox, <laughs> Zillica Gaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> so we're doing uh, sharing information right before I buy stuff. They're seeing it in here first. We've got big money in this space sharing great projects. You don't want to miss out. Magic happens over here. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.